We are recording. Hello, everybody. In this webinar, I am going to teach you what it actually means when I say recalibrate the nervous system, because I know that might be a little bit of an elusive term. So if you are ready to gain control of your health and your nervous system so you can stop feeling overwhelmed, anxious, detached, and instead move to a place of passion, purpose, and unlimited energy, then you are in the right place. I am going to teach you how your nervous system is wired so you can start to recalibrate it to our modern world and actually step into your power. First of all, what, what is the nervous system? You may have heard the term before, it floats around on the internet a lot, but what is it actually doing? Yes, it is our brain and our spinal cord and all of the nerves that run through our fingers and toes, controlling our muscles and our senses and our skin and our um, a lot of things. But it is also a master computer and mainframe translator that control that basically dictates and interprets all of the frequencies around us and translates them into a reality you can understand. Okay, what the heck did I just say? <laughs> uh, essentially, I'm a huge quantum physics nerd. I'm not going to get too much into it here, but the whole world around us is made of frequencies, which are just bands of energy. Our nervous system is the thing that is able to translate these bands of energy into something that we can see and understand. A good example of this is color. Color is our different frequencies, bands of energies that our eyes have evolved to be able to interpret. Our eyes take these signals and give them to our nervous system, which see the color green or brown or white or whatever. Another example is sound. Sound uses sound is a vibration, which is also a, a type of frequency that our ears have been able to hear, which is, it is uh, this information is given to our ears, is translated by our nervous system into the music or the sounds or the speech that you hear. So our nervous system is actually able to receive a lot of information. Some of it we are consciously uh, aware of, such as color, sound, temperature, things like that. And some of it we are just starting to learn about. But the basic thing to understand when it comes to how your nervous system developed is that it evolved to keep you safe. It's primal very sole role is to keep you alive, to keep you away from danger. And because of that, we are biologically conditioned to move away from new things. So this is important to understand when it comes to nervous system regulation, health, and just how we exist in the world in general. So we are conditioned to move away from new things, away from the unknown. Our brain will always move towards choosing false positives over false negatives, meaning that it will choose to think that things are true when they're not, rather than think that things are not true when they are. So maybe you need to pause and rewind this when you, if you watch the replay. But what I'm saying is that we are conditioned to look for danger and stay away from the unknown. And what this means is that in our modern world where we are very hyper stimulated, we are constantly exposed to the unknown. We are, um, if you choose to be immersed in the world of the modern media, which, which starts off fear of unknown, our nervous systems are getting um, elevated. And I'm gonna talk about what that means here. But this leads to trauma that we carry in our bodies that leads to a physical manifestation. We are getting sicker and sicker and more and more imbalanced. So I'm going to talk about now how that actually works with our nervous system, what it means when I say we are getting overwhelmed and discalibrated. Um, many of us nowadays, we walk around in a state of what's called sympathetic activation or fight or flight. So you may have heard this before. This is a state of when we, it evolved back when we were uh, predator prey, hunter gatherers. And so it evolved when there was a threat around and we needed to either mobilize energy to either fight that, fight that threat or to run away. Either way, we needed energy to get away or do something with it. It was meant to be short term, it was meant to be acute, and we evolved this way over a long time. In our modern world, you can start to see that it's not super adaptive anymore. We're less likely to be hunted by an animal and need that acute fight or flight situation. I mean, sometimes it definitely comes in handy. Humanity is not immune, unfortunately, to violent threats, but um, most modern people, the threats that we face are not exactly like that. They're more existential, like a credit card bill or a deadline or a sense of purpose. So these overarching things, our nervous system doesn't quite know how to translate this. And so we move through our day in this state of acute fight or flight, because this is the best way that it understands how to, under how to, uh, to move through this feeling. 
We are primed for action and we are primed for defense. We are not primed for expansion and vitality when we are in this state. So what that looks like is you might feel more anxious, more irritable, more selfish, more confused. Your relationships might start to struggle as you wonder what's going on as everyone else is in this state of feeling triggered and we act as mirrors to each other absorbing energy. And what can happen is <clears throat> if this state of fight or flight goes on for too long, we can move to a state of overwhelm, which is called dorsal vagal activation. So this is when the vagus nerve, the vagus nerve is one of the most primal and important nervous system pathways in our body. What it is, is it connects our brain, our nervous system, and it moves down our throat, through our chest, into our bellies, and it controls our breath rate, our heart rate, and our parasympathetic nervous system, which is that rest and digest calming aspect of our nervous system. The vagus nerve also controls the emergency break that is our play dead response. So what happens is, I guess back in the day when we were prey uh, and we were fighting and flighting and running around, eventually we would hit a maximum and the vagus nerve would engage and it would say, there's no point in fight, fighting or fleeing anymore, time to play dead. So this is when you're just so overwhelmed and depleted, the only strategy left is to play dead. In our modern world, how this translates is if we exist in this state of fight or flight stress all the time and our, and our vagus nerve turns on and it's called this dorsal vagal activation or dorsal vagal shutdown, we end up in this state of uh, play dead, but we don't play dead. We override that response. And what it looks like is um, it's kind of interesting when you think about it, but it feels like you want to play dead. You cannot function. You can't handle things anymore. Uh, we feel detached. We literally just want to play dead and sit in a corner because we don't know how to function in our world. This is not a place you want to be. It might be apathetic. In, in the modern medical model, it might be called depression, even though it's not really depression. It might look like ADD or ADHD. You can't really focus. You're going from one thing to another. You're very detached. Um, this is how it exists and manifests, but it's really your nervous system telling you that you are overwhelmed and you are discalibrated and you need to um, just, just chill. And the thing is that this is deeper than just a feeling. It's deeper than just energy and nervous system and anxiety and insomnia. This it directly affects your physical body, right? So the nervous system is very intimately connected with our immune system. Increased colds and flus are very prominent in people who are in burnout or overwhelm or um, dorsal vagal activation or who are discalibrated. So your immune system may not be as resilient. You might start to develop autoimmune diseases or eczema or allergies or IBS type things or hormone imbalances. And if left unchecked, it can end up in something like a chronic disease, which is not a place we want to be. So this is such an important and overlooked aspect of health is nervous system health. And I think that when we calibrate our health to our modern world, we can, or calibrate our nervous system to our modern world, we can really step into our health and optimize that. Okay, so who am I? Who am I to even be talking about this? If you, if we haven't met yet, my name is Dr. Kayla Clark. I'm an empath. I'm a naturopathic doctor. I'm an, an intuitive and I have a highly sensitive nervous system, meaning I went through my childhood with the labels of anxiety and OCD and panic disorder which eventually led to a lifestyle dictated by fear and anxiety and suppression. Once I learned that it wasn't bad for me to feel this stuff, and after going through a year-long chronic disease where uh, it was essentially my nervous system and body telling me that it was done and expressing through my body, um, I learned how to understand the nuances of my highly sensitive system. I was able to completely shift my perspective and step into my power, put this anxiety and this energy into something constructive. And now I love to help modern empaths and highly sensitive leaders bridge the gap between their health and life and nervous system so they can step into their power and bring their gifts to the world. I work with aspects of science, of soul, of nature, of modern medicine and technology to achieve high level and really intentional results. And I focus very much on personalized health and nervous system optimization, as you can tell. So I'm gonna go through in this next part of the video and explain how I actually recalibrate the nervous system. What does that actually look like? What does that mean? So my background in behavioral neuroscience and naturopathic medicine have allowed me to develop a approach to balancing and bridging the gap between the nervous system and optimizing the health that is really powerful and amazing. That being said, like I just said, I do personalized medicine and I'm a huge proponent that we are all unique and different. So this approach that I'm going to explain 
will look unique and different for everybody. Okay, so the Ascension method is my method to recalibrating the nervous system and health. There are four steps to it. The first one is the most important in my opinion, and it is identifying the root cause imbalances and doing an initial intake. So this is so, so important because it builds us an, a roadmap of your entire health story. This is where we start to recognize your physical and mental and archetypal patterns. So this is really hard to do objectively on your own. So I suggest you find someone, whether that be a loved one, whether you are able to enter a state of meditation and objectively write it down in your journal or channel whatever is coming through. But um, the, be the best way that I found to do it is find someone who can work through this for you, but start to unfold the patterns of figuring out your health story, where your nervous system exists, what are some of the subconscious programs that and conditioning that you have in your, uh, in your subconscious that are being held onto and exist how you are showing up in the world. So this again is the biggest piece in unfolding your health puzzle. What is actually going on? After we do that, the next thing I would do is a system systems specific support. So this is more of like the traditional health balance. So your nervous system and our physical body are so intimately related that, you know, working on one and working on the other at the same time are basically what we need to do. Once we figure out what's going on by identifying the root causes and the root imbalances, we can start to figure out what systems of the body need the most help. And then we will start working on the nervous system aspects so they can work in tandem. So that brings me to the third point. The third found foundational pillar is nervous system recalibration. So what does that actually look like? Again, it's using techniques based in neuroscience, somatics, ancient knowledge. We work to restructure the proper functioning of the nervous system. And we do this by things like mantra, mindset, meditation, rewiring practices, um, using Chinese medicine and acupuncture points, using biohacks to get into specific nerve system pathways, and also using supplements, micronutrients, and nutraceuticals to help support, support chemical imbalances that may be out of whack. Okay, so we have three now. We have identify the root cause. We have systems specific support. So that would be stuff like gut health, metabolic health, hormone health, endocrine health, cardiovascular stuff, whatever system you'd support. Third, we have nervous system recalibration. And fourth, we have integration and coaching, co-creating your reality. So this is how to actually put those pieces together, the health, the nervous system, the root cause understanding, and put those pieces together and take them to the next level. So understanding the ancestry, the biology, the nervous system, the health, and the language that it produced can help us um, use, that, use that to connect directly to our intuition and our health. So in this aspect, uh, it's a little bit more ethereal, but I use things and I use aspects like quant of, from quantum physics, gene keys, human design, TBM, and alternate ways of understanding. So this pillar of nervous system recalibration, at least in my practice, weaves throughout the others, just adding that extra layer of things that we might not yet understand. So understanding the root cause, what is going on, balancing the specific systems in the body that are out of balance, and then using somatic neuroscience ancient techniques to actually figure out where we are in our stress response, where we are in our tra trauma patterns, reprogramming some of those subconscious um, conditioning and programs, and integrating and weaving this all together. So it's a lot of work, and it's, it's, a, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of in-depth, it's a lot of understanding, and it is extremely powerful work. This approach to medicine is not your everyday intake, it's not... Um, you know, do some exercises, change your diet and take some supplements, although those are things that I do to help the system. Those are powerful ways of healing, but it's really about integrating all of these things and creating the layers and opportunity for us to heal. This is how I think that the nervous system truly recalibrates to our modern world. If this is resonating with you, I want to share the story of someone I worked with, Amanda. So when Amanda came to me, she was a badass power woman. She had her own business. She had a young daughter, but she was burnt out and depleted, but she had no idea. Um, originally, she came to me, I think, for hormone imbalances. She was having irregular, painful periods and was just feeling overall tired and depleted. She had a history of thyroid disorder and dysfunction. So we did an intake and we ended up doing some lab work and discovering that Amanda's functional hormone, we did a functional hormone testing and she was completely depleted and everything, meaning that she was in a state of adrenal burnout. So this is a place that she was familiar with. She would come to me and she said that she couldn't function. She had ADHD type feelings. She couldn't focus. She wasn't feeling present. She had zero sex drive and she had this buzzing in her pelvis, which she said was the worst part. And the weirdest part was she just felt like her pelvis was vibrating and it was really uncomfortable. 
and it was she she just was in a play a place where she literally could not function and this was not where we wanted to be so when we discovered that she was severely depleted in her neurotransmitters and her adrenal function we did a lot of work on replacing this we did a lot of work on reprogramming we did a lot of work on getting her health back to where it should be and now she is in a place where the buzzing has stopped since then unfortunately her father had passed from cancer she was able to deal with that and move through it with grace her periods are regular and she has absolutely no PMS anymore, which she is uh, thrilled about. And she says her sex drive is back and she's sleeping through the night. So she is happy with that. It has taken more than a year of work with Amanda to get to this place that she's at now. But she just seeing who she is is completely different. And her telling me that she never would have gotten to this place without doing some of those subtle layers and some of the stuff that we did together that goes beyond the surface. So this is just important to say that the nervous system work um, is really key and is absolutely affecting how, how people show up and how people exist and their health in general. So imagine this for yourself. Imagine understanding the nuances of your DNA and your biology, your biochemistry, your nervous system, knowing the best way to keep your body, mind, spirit healthy and wealthy, and be instantly able to tell when something is out of, out of alignment for you and your health, purpose, and beyond. So now that you've seen the process and had a chance to evaluate yourself, I'm guessing that there might be some gaps or areas that you need to master in order to make this work for you, or there might be some questions that you have. So here's the next step. Here's what you can do to jumpstart your momentum and start seeing results quickly. The first thing to do is book a call to see if this method and community is for you. I only work with a limited amount of clients at a time. So if this is something you resonate with, please book a call now. If the roster is full, you will be placed on the wait list for the next available spot. It's time to make a decision for yourself. It's time to step up into your purpose. You know that when you feel your best, you can do your best. And at this point, you've got two choices. You can either keep doing things the way that you have been and doing a, probably a kick-ass job of it, or you can shortcut your, shortcut your success and up-level your momentum. And if you are ready for that, my invitation for you is here. If you have any questions, I'm just going to pause the recording and you can ask them here. And I hope you all have an amazing day. Book a call and I will chat with you soon.